potable water for some time, I think about nine years ago. But our efforts are not enough to get us this water. We have really decided now to uh, revitalize this uh, project issue so that at least we appeal to various communities and uh, various individuals. Uh, corporate bodies that can come to our aid to secure the water. What um, effort did you really we, we We appeal to the district assembly and uh, they have started some mechanized uh, borehole system, which is uh, for now they have started one, which is not even yet completed. And uh, I would say we need more to clean up the population. The efforts we made earlier was we started, but we wanted to connect the water from Putabe to this place. We started, but the engineer at that time uh, gave us the, the size of the pipes that we used was smaller. Smaller and then the flow of the water was not as we wanted it. So we, decide, we have decided now to raise funds so that so to replace the old pipes that we, we used and uh, that is why we are now celebrating this uh, festival we did it last year but the money we raised was not enough we decided to do it again this year and if it is still not enough we we'll continue so uh, how much is the target you are looking at the target we're looking at now will be around uh, 500 thousand uh, Ghana cities because apart from the 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 the, 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 the lead from Kutame to uh, Ketisino, which is about 10 kilometers, we have other villages, adjoining villages like Feito, the Grupo, Ongakope, Isaiah Kope, and all they are all included. They, they they all form part of this community, electoral community uh, area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So have you ever heard anything from uh, government stakeholders or anything like that? That was what I said that when we do this, when we were doing it, uh, it was the turn of uh, uh, Honorable Aku Agra, who was the DC, DC chief executive at that time, and then the MP was uh, Honorable Ken Jasa. They came to our end. They assisted us to do the earlier one. Uh, we attributed the fault to the engineer. Uh, that was why we couldn't get access water. And ever since, we've been trying to at least replace those smaller pipes. I've been to where your uh, your constituents, or let me say your citizens, go to fetch water this morning, and I realized that the, the place is very, the water is very terrible. It's something I doubt if, excuse me to say, anyone in authority would even use to clean their shoes or use it for any meaningful thing. Uh, and your citizens are drinking it, they are using it to wash. How do you feel about all this? We don't feel, we feel bad. That is why we are putting in this effort so that something should be done about it. We are not blaming it on anybody. We feel we have to at least take it as a self uh, initiative uh, so that we at least embark on projects that can help us change the situation. But no call to government to intervene. That was why I said we appeal. We are aware. I mentioned say, some government officials like the DC, the DC, those days. They came to our aid. But because uh, we, 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 we stopped this uh, project, uh, this uh, end of year get together to raise funds, uh, and there was silence over the whole issue. So that was why we have decided not to come up. Again, with the project and maybe extend it, uh, we will call for them, we call on them to extend the helping hand to us. Do you have a clinic in your community? We have a clinic at Kutame, a nearby one, but we do have no accompanying later area. We don't have clinic. And any appeal in that direction? Are you okay with the oh, one at Kutame? For now, we want to take it one after the other. Uh -huh. Our problem now has to do with water. So when we get water, then we decide probably on road. Our road network is very bad. Uh, if the roads are good, because Kutame is not too far from us, we can easily access the health facility there. Thank you very much. Well,